Good morning children. Today we shall learn about heart. How does a doctor examine a patient? The doctor places the middle and index finger on the inner side of the wrist of the patient and looks at his watch. What does he do exactly? Well, he confirms whether the patient's heart is functioning properly or not. Do you know how the doctor tells that? Just by pressing the wrist? We know the heart pumps the blood into arteries. This pumping of blood creates a throbbing movement in the arteries. The doctor presses an artery holding the wrist to check the throbbing movement and it is called pulse. Pulse is created by heartbeat. Hence, you can count the heartbeat by counting the pulse. The normal heartbeat of an adult person is 72 to 80 times per minute. So, the number of pulse per minute, which is the pulse rate, would be the same as the number of heartbeats per minute. If you check your pulse, you would find that it has a fixed rhythm. The heart is made of muscles, especially the cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles contract and relax in a fixed rhythm. This rhythmic contraction and relaxation of heart is called the heartbeat. We can listen to the heartbeat using the stethoscope too, just like the doctor does. Now, how the heart pumps the blood using the heartbeats? Let us know a heart better. A heart is a muscular organ which is located in the chest cavity, slightly towards the left and it is protected by the rib cage. The size of the heart is not too big. It is just about the size of your clenched fist and it weighs about 225 grams to 340 grams only. Now let us see the structure of the heart in detail. Heart is like a double story building. Each story has two chambers. The upper two chambers are called the atria. Atrium in singular form or we can also call auricles. So the two upper chambers are called the right auricle and the left auricle. On the ground floor there are two chambers the right ventricle and the left ventricle. The door between auricle and ventricle is called the valve and it opens toward ventricle only. It means the blood can flow from the right auricle to the right ventricle but cannot go back. Same way the blood can flow from the left auricle to the left ventricle but cannot go back due to the valve. Now let us understand how blood circulates in our body. As we know the blood supplies oxygen and food to the different organs and the cells and collects waste and carbon dioxide from there. These exchange of substances takes place at the capillaries. The walls of capillaries are so thin that the gas chemicals can diffuse into cells and gas and chemicals from the cells enter the blood. The capillaries join together to form veins. Veins again join to form the two major veins. These two major veins, namely the vena cava veins, pour the deoxygenated blood into the right auricle. Then the right auricle pumps the blood into the right ventricle. Then the right ventricle pumps the blood into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery takes the blood to the lungs where blood gets purified and the blood gets the oxygen to become oxygenated blood. If you remember, 
the arteries carries the oxygenated blood but here the pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood so this is the only artery which carries deoxygenated blood and is an exception after the exchange of gases takes place in the lungs the oxygenated blood is then carried by the pulmonary vein and it returns to the heart so that the heart can send it to different parts of the body so the pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood unlike the other veins which carry deoxygenated blood the oxygenated blood comes to the left auricle of the heart then the left auricle pumps the blood into the left ventricle then the left ventricle pumps the oxygenated blood into an artery called aorta many arteries come out of aorta like branches these arteries then carry the oxygenated blood to different parts of the body so to understand it more clearly we can imagine the heart is made of two pumps the right side pump receives deoxygenated blood through the veins and sends it to the lungs for purification through the pulmonary artery the left side pump receives oxygenated blood from the lungs through the pulmonary veins and sends it to the different organs of the body to supply oxygen so remember children the heart has four chambers the upper chambers are called auricle or atria atrium is the singular form so there are left auricle and the right auricle the lower chambers are called left ventricle and the right ventricle the auricles receive blood through the veins then blood enters the ventricles through the walls the ventricle pumps blood into artery which takes it to the different parts of the body now let us see the whole process of blood circulation in short the right auricle receives deoxygenated blood through two major veins from the whole body from the right auricle the blood enters the right ventricle and from there it is sent to the lungs for purification through the pulmonary artery in the lungs the exchange of gases takes place then the oxygenated blood comes back to the heart from the lungs at the left auricle through the pulmonary vein this oxygenated blood then enters the left ventricle the left ventricle pumps it into an artery called aorta which carries it to all the parts of the body so that was the circulation of blood in short we know the arteries carry pure or the oxygenated blood but pulmonary artery is the only exception which carries impure or the deoxygenated blood and it carries the deoxygenated blood to the lungs from the heart for purification same way pulmonary vein is an exception too as it carries oxygenated blood all other veins carry deoxygenated blood or the impure blood only the pulmonary vein carries back the pure blood to the heart from lungs you know in 1628 an english physician named william harvey first described how the blood circulation occurs in our body so that was all about the heart and its functioning that's all for now bye bye children